Last time on Danny Ray Lives, Dad and I took the boat to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore and found some sick waterfalls. Happens every summer. Things are moving slow. And time to unwind only gives me time to spend alone. And I can't help but wonder. sat around the house all day. Ethan was making chatter all day. Now we are headed out to Wetmore Beach, which is on 550. I could have parked here. I parked Ellie. Look at that. I parked Ellie way back there and I totally could have parked right there. Anyway, uh, turn around. we're going with Ethan and his friend Wyatt and we are going to jump in hang out for a little bit. We made it to the beach. There's actually not a lot of people here, which is really nice. I'm gonna take my my gimbal out into the water. And didn't think she noticed, but I know she ah! It's actually really, I can't help really but scary wonder bringing it out into the water. She's but. thinking now. Is she standing alone, going home, or just hanging around with nothing to do? Summer loving. I don't know what day it is, but it's June. 27th. It's the 27th, <laughs> which is pretty nice. It's still early in the season and it's still pretty chilly. Like that water is no warmer than like 40 degrees, 45. No, that's cold as fuck. Really? Like Dude, Lake Superior on average only gets like, like 37 or something. This, this water is probably. I'm gonna look it up. 55. BRB. Yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, belts off, belts off. That one was for the ladies. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> ah! <laughs> They're in it, in it to win it. So Wyatt is actually the drummer in the same band that Ethan is in, Lumi. So you guys might remember him from a show or two. I'm not sure if my YouTube channel has met you, Wyatt, but you want to tell him your name and where you're from? I am Wyatt. And you're from here? I'm you're, not sure. You're not actually from Marquette, are you? North Carolina, Wilmington. Oh, really? Yeah. Wilmington, North Carolina. My brother lived there for a little bit. See, North Carolina would be a nice place to live. What part? Um, you live there? Maybe if we lived on the coast there, or my brother lives in Raleigh, which I think is oh, the yeah. capital. Yeah. Piedmont. But I think it'd be a nice place to live. I don't know. We, we're thinking of going to visit this summer so we can figure out yeah, if we I would mean, ever want to live North there. North Carolina is cool. It's, it's really diverse. You know, you got the, the Appalachians, uh, Piedmont, Coastal Plain, which yeah. is like beach and stuff. And yeah. Depending on where you go, what time of year, you can't find seclusion, you know, but that's that's kind of the hard It's part. more rare than here to find seclusion, oh, huh? Yeah. No. All right, we are that. leaving Wetmore Beach and we are headed back home because there's fish chowder waiting at home for us. And I just met a family that has a school bus and that is so cool. Although I didn't get to go see it, unfortunately, but yeah, I was very excited about it. And the little girl next to me was like, that's my bus. And I was like, oh my God, you're so lucky. You have such a great life. So there's that. All right, we're headed out to, we decided to make it to Forestville because Ethan has a truck now, so we obviously can get more places instead of taking Ellie. And we are driving on a road that we used to be driving on for years. I mean, it we always knew it went back to the Forestville Falls. It's kind of a crappy road, but I took my Buick on this road a couple of times and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> so this 
goes to the left here and I think the falls is up that way and we're gonna I think go swim for a bit I grabbed my hammock Wait, to the falls is up set this it way. up I'm pretty sure yeah I've vlogged Dead River Falls before but it still remains my favorite place on earth Yeah, you would. Ethan caught a brook trout here when uh... opening day of trout season. I caught a 13 and a half inch brook trout, and they have to be 14 to be a master angler in Michigan. So, so I was pretty close. I Ooh, was pretty close. close. And uh, really, there's not a lot of people here. Um, it's not easy to get here. So, yeah, it's not easy to get here. You have to do a long hike, or you have to have a four wheel drive truck, like we said, and. You really got to know where you're going because the road that we normally take said no trespassing. And, you know, we've been taking that road for years. So we found another inlet because there are trails everywhere. But yeah, it's crazy. So this is um, one of my favorite places in the whole world. We're going to have to clean up some of the we're going to have to clean up some of the beer cans. I knew I know I could jump back. That's the that's the, the big that's platform. the big one. I think that's the sixty footer. I've done that once and then before. Right here, where I'm pointing right down here on this little point, that's the low, the lower one. What's up, the yeah the twenty footer or no? It's like yeah, a it's only footer. yeah fifteen twenty feet. It's not not a whole lot. But on this top, the sixty footer up here, you got to you got to get a running start. You got to clear that one down there. Yeah, you have to clear those rocks. I did it one time and I barely cleared those rocks. Like very very sketch. We relaxed in our hammock for the afternoon, waiting around for the perfect time to go fishing. This spot remains as one of the good cliff jumping spots around here because it's actually a lot warmer than Lake Superior is. We're here. We are here. Chilling. <laughs> Swinging. This is the best spot ever. Forest Bill. Pretty peaceful. And there's like nobody here. There's a few people that just arrived, but there was like nobody here, which is unheard of. <laughs> So we were off to a good walleye spot with a quick stop in my old neighborhood first. Hey. Hey. 
Sunset burning on the golden shore. Never a little sailboat out there. We're rolling through my old home. This is Little Teal Lake, kind of a cute little lake. It was nice to have at least. So I'm not living in Marquette where you can have Lake Superior. This is my old neighborhood. This is the elementary school that I went to. I used to just walk there because I literally lived right around the corner. The cool kids, what? The cool kids used to park back there and hang out, but then the cops told us we can't hang out there anymore, so we have to go to the little park <laughs> and then go straight here. They have some pretty cool fireworks every year here. I don't yeah. think they're going to do it though for the 4th. Yeah, I usually sit though. in my car over there for the fireworks, I think. Yeah, and I've gone to parties at these people's houses over there too that have a really good spot. And then take this left. This was my old neighborhood. I walked home from school this way every day when I was younger. This was my street. <laughs> Those were the Koskis and toward the Torianos. They probably still live there. Childhood, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the roots of Danny Ray lives. Yeah. And then she Matt Schroeder used to live here. I think they actually still live there. Still living. There was always some random people in this yeah. house over here. Uh, this one with the blue shutters. That's the old house. That's man. it. That's my old house. My room was the one to the left of the door. That was my room growing up. Alright, guys. We made it to another destination to go fishing. It won't we won't disclose the destination because we're true fishermen and we don't do that. Leeches. Ethan got some leeches and I have never used a leech before to fish. So he's gonna show me how to put it on, but I'm not touching it because that's just no, I can't do that. That's gross. But I'm pretty excited. Fishing a lot, at least, is very new for me. So I'm excited to try the leech and learn some new things today. And it's beautiful. And there's a cool bridge. So that's always yeah, exciting. It's the, uh, the old hoist bridge. Hmm. They rebuilt it. I feel like side. I've been over it a couple times. Yeah, oh yeah. You yeah. drive over there. Yeah, I have. Ethan really is my favorite fishing partner. He's so sweet and very patient with me still. Sunset burning on the golden shore Never seen a view like this before The stars, they shine like diamonds in your eyes Black dress on, you got me hypnotized I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away about you No, I can't look away, no, I can't look away, no, I can't look away cause I need you My heart keeps beating like an island drum Cause you're my only one You make me feel it's so too late. All right, Ethan is the nicest boyfriend ever, and he put a leech on my hook for me. He likes going fishing with me, apparently, he says, even though he has to do all the work for me, and I feel really bad, but I'm just not there yet, but I'll get there. By the end by the end of the summer, I'll be leeching my own hooks. I will be taking my own fish off the hook and filleting them. I'm gonna buy myself a fillet knife, and I'm, I'm gonna learn how to fillet. Cause that I think I can do. If they're dead, I'm fine, probably. It's when they are alive and they flail around that I don't like it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It takes a little out. practice, you know, just like in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Get that momentum going. The more you fit, the more you start to feel it out and understand it. And then it's all different, you know, wherever you go. He's got a pike. I didn't even realize he was on there for a minute there. Oh, shit. Holy crap, dude. He just, oh, that poor guy. Oh, no. Okay, we'll get it. We'll get it out? <laughs> you want me to do anything for you? Oh no! I caught him. Look at his teeth. Oh! Oil's got some teeth. All right. It's they like there. them Ooh, leeches. Oh, it's in there. Yep. He look at you. Don't want. I can't believe that. I was so excited. I didn't even realize he was fucking on there. Oh yeah, he licked her right up. Sorry, Pikey. Sorry, Pikey. Oh yeah, it's hooked. It's hooked around the tongue. There we go. There we go. You can keep the leech. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna have to film you putting another leech on for me. <laughs> let him go, let him go. Is he okay? Yeah, he's cool. He's a little shocked, but. Okay. <laughs> Danny caught that pike. Right, she don't like these guys because they have little suckers on them, and 
Ooh. They attach to you. Oh, they're so gross. Here, buddy. So he's going to try. But what I'll do is I'll get the hook Oop, right under him. Oh. Just like that one there. Yep. Flip it around. Flip it again. And that way you always keep the same leech. You probably, I mean, if I didn't let that pike keep the other one, we could have kept using that same leech. Yeah, we gave, it, it. we gave it to him. We gave it to him. We gave it to him. We didn't catch anything other than uh, Ethan got a little walleye and a little perch. So I guess we did. So we actually did catch stuff. But... We're gonna take a little stroll and we're gonna, there we go. We're gonna take a little stroll to the other side of the river. We're gonna see what's over there. Yeah, these guys over here are trying to fish and they're being so loud and they have like eight fishing poles in the water. Like how do they not well, get we, snagged up? We're, we're fishing from the shore so we only have limited places to fish. Yeah. And uh, you got this boat coming in, fishing right next to us, and it's like, dude, you got the whole basin. Yeah. Oh, some people. Some people. Some, some people. Just it's just courtesy. good fishing etiquette. It is. It is. jump over that are you kidding me so here I sit somehow some way I got on the log I'm gonna catch the fish right here ready okay Ooh, almost had a bite <sighs> you're funny Oh, my oh, goodness. You robbed me. You gotta put another We didn't take anything home, but I reckon Ethan would have stayed out all night trying if I let him. Do thing, but he won't steal my day, so I'm Next time on January Lips, you can join Ethan and I at Black Rocks getting a little wet and hunting for some famous Michigan agates. As always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, tell me everything, tell me everything, tell me everything.